I knew like Jesus was like right there. He's coming now. It was urgent in my heart, in my spirit, in the dream. And as I'm walking through all these crowds, I see a huge table with a huge, huge newspaper. I mean, it's the size of a table, but it was folded like a big blanket. And on the top of the headlines of the newspaper, there was like urgent, chaotic, chaos, like chaos in bold letters. I don't remember what it said, but I knew it was chaos. And I grabbed the, one of the newspapers and then I see my sister in a distance, like a few feet away from me. And I give her that newspaper. And then I continued trying to find my husband because that was my main thing. I said, in my dream, I thought I want to be caught up with him in the clouds when Jesus comes back for us. Like I want to be with him, you know. And then the next scene was I was inside. It still looked like I was in the cave, but in a corner and I was passing out. I saw a couple that I knew and they they had five children in their hips, like toddlers. And I said, oh, you had your children. And then the husband said, God bless you, Cloud9 family, and welcome back. I'm so happy that you could join me here again on the channel for this series of videos where we get to experience many of the submissions together. And my, oh my, are they so powerful. We're seeing such an increase in dreams, visions, and messages that have been given to our brothers and sisters in Christ to share. In today's video, we're going to be looking at an experience that was emailed in by our dear sister in Christ, Eugenia. But before I go ahead and share that video with you, I do want to go ahead and read the email that she attached as well. And in Eugenia's email, it says, Hello, Amber. I wanted to share this important, urgent end time cave dream that I have received recently. My husband has also had one as well. Very similar. Blessings, Eugenia. Well, thank you so much, Sister Eugenia, for reaching out to me and wanting to share your experience with the channel family. I'm really excited to see what you have seen. So without further ado, brothers and sisters, let's now take a look and see what our sister in Christ saw in her experience. I'm Eugenia. And this is Bryant. My husband. And we're here together because I had a powerful dream, end time dream about caves in the last days how people are going to be going to the caves to hide from the wrath of God. And um, I told my husband about it, and he also had a dream a long time ago, mm -hmm. a very, very vivid dream about caves, about the end times. And you had this one just last just, week? I, I wrote it down in my dream book, and I wrote it down July 21st, 2024. And I had three consecutive dreams of caves, but this one was more a concerning the end times. That's why I thought, wow, this is God's really speaking to me because I had asked him to give me more dreams that I haven't had any dreams. And I was just praying in the spirit and, and reading the word of God. And then he downloaded three dreams to me. And the other ones were more of just praying and in, in, in caves and being in the caves with other people. And I got separated. But this one was more profound, like going along with the Bible. And then my husband reminded me of his dream, and I thought, oh, this is really neat. You know, we need to talk about this. So, let me start first, and then he could tell you about his dream, okay? So, this dream, I had it, like I said, July 21st, 2024. And it really shook me because uh, I knew Jesus was coming now in this dream. I had other dreams where I knew he was coming soon, but this was like now. And I saw in this huge cave, like uh, Carlsbad Caverns, like huge cave. And I was on the upper room, you know, it's covered with lots of people rushing. And they were all panicking, hiding, trying to hide and rushing. I mean, there was loads and loads of people. Like I could barely get through with all the crowds of people. And I wasn't panicking. I was just trying to find my husband because in the dream, he was at the bottom part of the cave, at the lower level. And I was up here on the higher level. So I knew I had to get to him because I knew Jesus was coming like now. And I even looked up as I'm rushing through the crowds trying to find my husband. I looked up even though it was a cave. Like I knew like Jesus was like right there. He's coming now. It was urgent in my heart, in my spirit, in the dream. And as I'm walking through all these crowds, I see a huge table with a huge, huge newspaper. I mean, it's the size of a table, but it was folded like a big blanket. 
And on the top of the headlines of the newspaper, there was like urgent, chaotic, chaos, like chaos in bold letters. I don't remember what it said, but I knew it was chaos. And I grabbed the, one of the newspapers and then I see my sister in a distance, like a few feet away from me. And I give her that newspaper. And then I continued trying to find my husband because that was my main thing. I said, in my dream, I thought I want to be caught up with him in the clouds when Jesus comes back for us. Like I want to be with him, you know. And then the next scene was I was inside. It still looked like I was in the cave, but in a corner and I was passing out. I saw a couple that I knew and they they had five children in their hips, like toddlers. And I said, oh, you had your children. And then the husband said, I have, I have, we had quintuplets, quintuplets of five children, which number, number five means grace. But anyways, I said, and then my, the, the wife said, and we're starving. We are starving. So I gave her a cone shape, like, you know, the newspaper things that you put on food in. I put noodles in there and then I put three clean dollar bills on top of the noodles. And one of the children said, money on food and then i looked at the couple and they looked at me we knew what that meant it's almost like you know it was for they knew they were they needed it bad so that tells me we're going to go through hard times you know with food and everything in the end times but it was just very profound and that was the end of the dream that's all i saw and just letting you know what what happened and it goes along with uh, some scriptures that we're going to read to you. And then my husband yeah, well, can tell you his. And I think it's amazing because the Bible does say that uh, in Job, that God does speak to us in a dream and visions of the night. And in 2007, when I first came to Christ, um, I didn't know about God speaking in dreams, but I was having some uh, a lot of dreams. Uh, and I knew they weren't just normal dreams. But... My wife and I used to go caving back then, and in this dream that I had in 2007, we were caving, and when you go caving, you have to have permits, so you had to have permission to go down, and we had our gear on, and we're in this big cave called Cottonwood Cave in the Guadalupe's, and uh, all of a sudden, these people come in the, in the cave as we're caving with their children and suitcases, and I said, wait, you can't be here. What are you doing here? You don't have a permit, and they said, don't you know the end is here, and I remember stepping out of the cave and looking back to the city and just seeing destruction and then I, and I woke up because it freaked me out which I had a lot of those dreams and the next day this happened a lot it happened so much that I told God to stop mm. back then because it scared me but the next morning I opened the Bible uh, randomly and I, I mean I don't recommend people open the Bible randomly for scripture but back then I guess he, the grace of God just was showing me things and I opened it actually to uh, Isaiah 219 uh, through 22 I'm going to read it now it says people will go into the caves and the rocks and holes in the ground away from the terror of the Lord and from his majestic splendor when he rises to terrify the earth on that day people will throw their worthless idols of silver and gold which they made to worship to the moles and the bats they will go into the caves of the rocks and the crevices and the cliffs away from the terror of the Lord and from his majestic splendor when he rises to terrify the earth, put no more trust in a mere human who has only the breath in his nostrils. What is he really worth? Wow. I know. That's and then when I read that, I was like, okay, I feel like I'm either going crazy. Like, what is all this? Mm -hmm. and, but I knew it was real. And again, that was 2007. And yeah. really didn't even know what to do with that information. Like, what does that mean? The end is coming because, you know, Christians have said that forever. But now I think we're closer. We're I mean, closer. We're definitely close, closer yeah. every day. To that day yes and then when my wife had this dream yes so we need to make a video of this yes and, and just be obedient to the word to, to the lord yeah especially when a dream lines up with the word you know wow this is this is amazing you know it lines yeah. up with scripture and there's also another scripture besides isaiah which was written two thousand years before the book of revelation correct i think so or, or more or yeah. or more i don't or i don't know this. But I know it's a, it was long before Jesus came, and Jesus told John to I mean, write I the book. I want to make of, this clear up front that we're not Bible scholars. So yeah. We're just uh, disciples of Christ. We're disciples of Jesus, and we love the Word. Yes. yes. And then um, this one also explains about the caves in Revelation chapter six, verse fifteen Which through is seventeen. A, this is the sixth seal. The sixth seal after it's opened. Yeah. You want me to read it? Go ahead. 
Then the kings of the earth, the nobles, the generals, the rich, the powerful, and every slave and free person hid in the caves and among the rocks of the mountains. And they said to the mountains and to the rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of the one seated on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb, because the great day of the wrath has come, and who is able to stand? And the, you all know the wrath of the Lamb, that's Jesus. He, Jesus is refer, referred to as the Lamb of God. And He is coming back very, very soon. I believe sooner than we think. And I feel like uh, even non-believers at this point, they know the world is broken. They see it, they mm -hmm. feel it, you know, what's going on in the world. And as Christians, as believers, we can tell them this is written. You know, yeah. everything that's happening with earthquakes and uh, the disasters and the economies and yes. we're getting closer to this day. So we just send this not in to make anybody terrified, but just to prepare your hearts. Yes. I mean, you can stock up on bullets and money and food, but the main thing is prepare your hearts for this day. Yes. Because God will provide for us, right? Yes. Because yeah, that's what he does. And if you don't know the Lord, we just... Uh, Call out to, to God, yes. like I did back in 2007. If you're yes. real, I need to know you. I need, yes. you know, just touch me, and, yes. and He will. He will show you yes. the truth and get plugged into a church. And Yes, yeah, so just ask God to forgive you of your sins, and He yes. says He will clean you. You will clean your sins like a cloud dissipates, like you erase your sins. So all we need to do is from the heart say, Lord Jesus, That's forgive right. me of my sins. That's re true repentance. Don't continue in it. Ask the Holy Spirit to come and dwell inside you to help you not continue sinning. And then become born again and go get, get baptized yeah, in bury, water. Bury the old life. Yeah, cut, bury the cut old cut life. Off everything from the old life. All the depression, anxiety, yeah. everything the flesh carries around. Yes. Rise up in Christ and be filled with the Spirit. He'll fill you and with joy and it's, peace. It's the good news. We can have peace in the midst of this storm yes. that's coming. And yes. that's going to be a testimony to yes. everybody. So. Amen to that. So, yes. well, God so bless you God guys. bless you guys and thank you for, ha for having us. Yeah. Have, okay. a, have a great evening. Okay, bye. Thank you so much, Sister Eugenia, for sharing this powerful video with me, as well as the very encouraging ending here, sharing about God's love and about accepting the free gift and believing in your heart. Many people need to do that right now because they do not know what is in store for them if they have not read the Bible let alone understand what many of these dreams and visions mean. But it is so awesome that you recorded this with your husband. It's so great to meet both of you here on the channel and share this experience coming from both of you, because it's definitely a confirmation and your husband also saw something very similar. So that's definitely telling. But with your experience, when you were talking about being in that cave, and you just had that sense and that feeling that Jesus was coming. And even to the point where you were mentioning about the newspaper, about chaos breaking out, and you saw families that were there and that they were hungry, but they were all coming to the midst together. And people all sensed that something was coming. Now, I do believe that that is a sign as to how close we are right now to the rapture and to that point in time when many people are going to go into caves. We know about that in um, the end when it is, talks about the Jewish people fleeing to go into hiding um, in Petra, in the caves over there fleeing. And then also the elite, a lot of them are going to be hiding in caves, wanting them to cave in on them because they don't want to see the son of man. How sad is that? That many people are just not even going to want to see the Lord's face and then they're not going to want to see the wrath on top of that but just to not want to see the lord is just so so shocking because all of us as believers are so excited we want to see the lord's face we want to see him face to face who we've been praying to talking to who we've had a personal relationship with and to see him and hear him when he, we are called to meet him in the air with all of those who have died previously in Christ, it's going to be such an amazing experience. And then your husband also had seen something very similar as well in caves and to the point where he was in the caves and then, you know, he was telling people that were trying to come down that they had to have a permit 
But then they said to him, but it's the end of days. And that definitely tells me that these people were trying to go in there to hide. They knew how rough it was outside and they were looking for a safe place to go into to kind of catch away from all the wrath, probably from all the running they've been doing. You're probably hungry, scared, confused. And so that's why many of the dreams people are receiving from the Lord are to wake people out of their slumber to get saved right now before it is too late. And I now want to read to you scripture in Luke 21, 11 through 12. And it says, And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilences, and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. So that definitely says it right there that we're going to see, which we are seeing right now, the earthquakes in diverse places, the famines. On top of that, we're seeing the volcanic eruptions. We're seeing the weather just so crazy in different parts of the world, floods and hurricanes and that sort of thing. So we're seeing all these things aligned together. And it also says that in the end times that there would be people that would be taken to synagogues and to prisons and that sort of thing. And I do believe that that's going to happen very strongly, especially in the tribulation period when there's a lot of people that are going to get saved and are going to want to be with the Lord, but are going to come against what is happening. And of course, the rulers in that time. So brothers and sisters, everything is falling into place and we're seeing prophecy being fulfilled. So do not get scared. Do not be stressed out. Do not be saddened by all this because we were foretold that this was going to happen. But it also says to look up because our redemption draws an eye. So I truly want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, Sister Eugenia, as well as your husband. Thank you so much for wanting to share this video with me. I am sure it will bless many people who see it today. Please type in the comments box, Jesus is coming. Please type Jesus is coming because he is going to appear in the clouds to call us up to meet him and we will be with him for an eternity. So I truly want to thank you all so much, brothers and sisters, for taking the time to watch this video today. And until next time, may God bless you all and have a very blessed week.